So we've been doing this all week, and tonight we continue digging deeper into hypnosis by learning how it can improve one's health. And to do so, Ricky Van takes a new WLTZ employee, one from behind the scenes, to show you his experience in the trance. Meet Bradley Tarver. Brad, stand by the fake into camera two. He's new to the WLTZ team. Starts right now. Brad fills in as a morning show director. Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. So that's what's trending. He's learning fast, but with any new job, it can be stressful, like... When there's a lot of things happening at once, where producers are talking in your ear, and you have to make sure you have the right things queued up, or you can potentially crash the show. That's where professional hypnotist Richard Barker comes in. He says he can help Brad's anxiety through hypnosis. It can reach into the subconscious mind, which is to take those negative memories and either erase them so now they don't exist or clean them up. I like to tidy them up. It's as real as the days long. Some members of our WLTZ First News team came to try hypnosis with him. Cool. You're all ready to be hypnotized? With a calm mind and eyes on Barker. Comfortable in your chair. I'll just be standing behind you momentarily and don't worry about the person sitting next to you. They're ready. Just listen to the sound of my voice. Telling them to think about sleep. Deep sleep. I want you to focus in on the soft muscle tissue surrounding your eyes, known as your eyelids. And I want you to imagine your eyes are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. They were out. On two and three now. Put it out stiff and rigid all the way out. Barker spent time with each person in the room. I'm here to teach you moderation. Talking with them specifically about how they wanted hypnosis to improve their health. Just for the person I'm touching now, what a wonderful man we have right here. I want you to understand the magic of the mind is all in your own head, my friend. Barker, focusing on Brad's request. You're about to unleash such excitement, such talent, and such vibrancy. And once the crew came out of hypnosis, I sat down with Brad for his first reaction. How do you feel right now? Um, I just feel very, like, I feel very, like, focused and, and calm and content. Typically, you know, one hour of hypnosis feels like four to six hours of uninterrupted sleep because you're giving your subconscious mind a chance to rest. And your critical thinking, which is your conscious mind, you're actually closing it off so you're no longer thinking. Whereas, as you know, we're always thinking, but under hypnosis, you're giving your mind relaxation and the mind feels like it's had four to six hours of sleep. But does it work? One month after, we met up with Brad. Hypnosis has helped me to just focus on staying calm when other, other times I would kind of freak out and I'd, I'd try to press things that I shouldn't have pressed. The beauty about hypnosis is it doesn't discriminate against age or gender or religion or you know it's a free-forming sort of experience that the magic's all in your own mind so you might be sitting there thinking to yourself well i don't know if i can be hypnotized or well, everybody and anyone can be hypnotized as long as you can understand either myself or another hypnotist whatever that language preference is for you so uh, what i'd like to say is, is it's all inclusive but you will feel better as a result of it of hypnosis. So to better your health, would you choose the trance? That's up to you. In Columbus, Ricky Van, WLTZ First News. If you would like to work with a professional hypnotist, you can contact Richard Barker directly for a recommendation. Once again, his contact information is on our website, WLTZ.com. You can watch this story again there if you'd like, just in case you're not quite convinced yet. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of in a trance just watching this yeah. myself, fearful that I might be hypnotized and could not continue. Yeah, it well. was certainly an experience, <laughs> that's for sure. We'll get you out of that happens, Bob. <laughs>